What's going on everybody, it's ETA Prime back here again. It's official, AMD is working on the Z2 APU for handheld gaming PCs. Recently, the guys over at PC Gamer sat down with some AMD execs and the Z2 was mentioned. AMD actually stated that it is in the works. Now, if you remember correctly, we've actually got two Z1 processors, the Z1 Non-Extreme and the Z1 Extreme. The Z1 didn't perform that well in the lower end ROG Ally. We really didn't see it in many other handheld PCs, if any. I'm not sure, at least in the United States. But the Z1 is still going strong in the ROG Ally, the Ally X, and the Legion Go. When it comes to the upcoming Z2, we don't have a lot of information on it, but I did want to kind of make a video just talking about what we'd like to see from that new chip. And of course, since the launch of the Z1 Extreme, we have gotten a much more powerful APU hit in the market, being the Ryzen AI HX370. And with that, we've got a pretty fast iGPU known as the 890M with 16 compute units as opposed to the Z1 Extreme's 12 compute units. Plus, it's based on RDNA 3.5. I've actually done a lot of testing with this chip, and personally, I don't think it's going to be the exact chip we're seeing in the Z2 or the Z2 Extreme. And to tell you the truth, we're not even sure if they're going to be using the Extreme moniker for the Z2. I mean, chances are they probably will. They might even just rename the whole unit itself. But overall, when it comes down to it, I can guarantee that we will see a more powerful APU for our handheld gaming PCs. With that HX370, we get 12 cores and 24 threads. Personally, I do think that we've got too many cores and threads over there for a handheld to keep the power down on it. And we have been seeing some pretty big batteries like the ROG Ally X 80 watt hour battery, which gives us some really amazing runtime. And the new Ryzen AI chips we have on the market right now are based on Zen 5. Plus we've got RDNA 3.5 graphics. Now, I do think that they're gonna be dropping the NPU. We will not need an NPU for these handhelds, at least I won't, a lot of other people I know just won't even utilize that NPU. And the newer chips are really efficient, but we need something a bit more efficient. So I do think that we're gonna see something very similar to the HX370 minus a few cores. And I wouldn't mind six cores, 12 threads, as long as we can still get that Radeon 890MI GPU with 16 CUs. Again, I've done a bunch of testing with the Z1 Extreme versus that HX370. When it comes to the iGPU, we are seeing more power there, but I do think we can get a bit more out of it if they were able to kind of offset those extra cores that are drawing that extra wattage, if we're running at lower wattages here, they could send more over to the iGPU, keep those boost clocks up for us. And in theory, we could get better performance out of the iGPU. Now, is it gonna be an astronomical jump from what we have right now with the Z1 Extreme? Personally, I don't think so. What these companies definitely wanna do are kind of nickel and dime us, and that's what's been going on for a very long time. We'll get a nice bump in performance generation to generation, and sometimes the market just needs a nice big generational bump. But with this here, I think we're going to see around 20% better performance out of the iGPU, which on paper doesn't sound like a lot, but if we take a look at some real world gaming benchmarks, for instance, Cyberpunk 2077 on that HX370 is 17 to 20% faster than the Ryzen Z1 Extreme. And keep in mind with these benchmarks here, the HX370 that we're testing is optimized for 12 cores and 20 threads. If they could cut a few of those out, there's a chance that they could send a little more over to the iGPU at the same kind of wattages. For Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 1080p high settings, the HX 370's iGPU is coming in 20 to 25% faster than the Ryzen Z1 Extreme. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 16 to 19% faster. And everything you're seeing here with the Z1 Extreme was run on the ROG Ally X, and ASUS has had time to do some optimizations for those drivers. And right now, the Z1 Extreme is definitely an awesome performer. But with the upcoming Z2, I think what we're going to get here is 8 cores, 16 threads. I don't think they're going to cut it down to 6 and 12. No Ryzen AI, so they're going to cut that NPU out to save on cost. And I really do hope we see that Radeon RDNA 3.5 iGPU with 16 CEUs. So a variant of the 890M we're seeing right now in the HX370. With those extra cores cut off the top, they can send a little more over to that iGPU at those lower wattages to keep the clocks up. And we could definitely see some really great performance out of the Ryzen Z2 Extreme. But I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Having something with an RDNA 4 iGPU would be great, but I don't think we're going to see it this generation. I think they're going to stick with RDNA 3.5. 
And of course, what I'm saying here is all speculation. I mean, we could definitely be blown away by the Z2 Extreme, but I think we're gonna see something with a nice little upgrade over the Z1 Extreme by about a 20% uplift in GPU performance at the same kind of wattages we're running right now. So we can get the same kind of battery life with much better performance. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. Definitely let us know in the comments below what you'd like to see out of the Z2 Extreme. And like always, thanks for watching.